Hi everyone, welcome back to Bolt Action Bunker and in this episode I'm going to be showing you how to make your own terrain tiles. Hi everyone, welcome back to Bolt Action Bunker and in this episode we're going to be making terrain tiles. Now this is just the part one, so this is just going to be a basic terrain tile. So I'm going to show you how to make just a nice flat terrain tile that you can put uh, on the table to give yourself a really good tabletop. Now we're going to start off with just a basic one and then I'm going to show you a bit later on, maybe in episode two or three, this one here, this is, this is a 40k uh, tabletop, so this has got a lava river running through here and some cutouts and again they're all made exactly the same way but that's a bit more advanced. So for this episode we're just going to be making the basic one which is nice and flat it's got a little bit of texture on here and we'll show you how to do that um, and there we go okay to start off with all my terrain tiles are made out of polystyrene this is from uh, my local builders merchants which is Wix is the closest one now you can buy these sheets in different sizes they come in 8x4 sheets 8x2s um, when I was down there a little while ago, I actually discovered that these come in, uh, these are 4 by I believe 18 inches tongue and groove. So all you've got to do is I'm going to cut this tongue off and put it down this side here. So I'm going to do that uh, just to trim this up and I'm also I'm going to cut this in half as well. I don't want it 4 foot wide, um, I, just, I want them 2 foot wide so I'm just going to cut this in half and I'll get that done and then I'll show you the section we're going to work on. Okay, so just cutting this tongue off of this side and then we're going to glue that in the other side just to square these up. Like I say, these were from Wix, they're a lot easier to purchase, I think they're a little bit dearer this way, but they fit in your car, so it's easy to, easy to transport. So to glue these in, I'm just using some PVA, again I don't water it down, you can do it if you want to, if you get good results with it watered down then water it down. Uh, just put this in the groove, plenty of it in there. Right the way along. Like that, and the bit I've cut off from the other edge, I'm just going to fit into here just to fill that. And again, we're going to sand all these edges, so <clears throat> it's not got to be too neat, but you just want the gap filled. And I'm a little bit short somewhere, there we go. Okay. So that's filling in the ton and groove section. Now I'm going to cut this in half. Okay, so this sheet is just under uh, 600 so it's 590 long and they're 45 centimeters wide so I'm just going to cut this one in half so I've measured up where I want to do the cut I'm just going to use my knife and I've got a steel roll put it on your sheet um, and just take your time cutting this just take your time cutting across uh, the better edges you get, the better fit you're going to get when you come to do your when you come to put them together on the table. So I'm just going to make this one nice and easy. Try and keep it nice and straight. And as usual, I have lost. I can't find my better knife, so I'm using this one. So just go down. Let us say, go across a few times and just cut these in half. Try not to snap and let your knife go all the way through. Like I say, the better joint you get, 
the better the table will be. So I'll just finish this off and I'll show you in a minute. Okay, so I've now cut my sheet in half and I'm gonna just work on one tile and show you guys a basic tile. I'm gonna put one aside and we'll come back to that it may be in a day or so and we can do a little bit more advanced techniques with it. So, let's get on. Now I did say these are really easy to make um, because this is the basic tile. So PVA glue and sand. So I use my play pit sand as usual for all, all basing all my stuff. So I'm gonna use the play pit sand on here. So first of all, I'm just gonna put some glue on here and then we can put some sand on. So I'm just going to pour this on, not worry too much about it. Um, I've got a, an art brush, so they're already thin, nice and easy to wash out. And then just spread this PVA all over this surface. Now I know some people you might find in your hardware stores, in your builders merchants, you can buy these sheets in inch and a half. Now inch and a half is still fine um, at Wix. They, they only do two inch stuff, so you know that's what I'm buying. But I have seen these sheets in inch and a half in some stores, and um, if you can, I would go with an inch and a half. They're, they're fine, they're obviously going to be a little bit cheaper as well to buy. So let's just put some more on here. Now, when you're putting your glue on, um, just spread it out as thin as you can, get a, get a good even surface all over. It doesn't matter too much if you miss anything at this stage, but you can. Now, a little technique for later on, if you want to put, uh, get a wavy texture on here, you can put a bit more glue on in thicker places. So when you put your glue on, let it settle uh, so it's a little bit thicker. And then when you put your sand on, you'll actually see that you'll, you'll get a wavy effect. And it's a little bit more realistic, like for a desert scene, something like that. There we go, so glue's all over. Now then, my play pit sand. And again, I've got no special techniques here, just get a big handful. Get a big handful and uh, spread it out. So put it on. And again, another one on there. I've got a large paintbrush which I just use to spread this out with and uh, it is a bit messy so you can take your time but you're going to want a table, get a tablecloth out maybe I'm lucky enough I've got a big board here let's get this on the worst bit for this it's waiting for it to dry. Let's spread this out. There we go. I've missed a little bit on that corner, but that's not too bad. We'll go back there in a minute. So that's all on. And now it's on. You can knock it off. And that is going to be your surface. For your basic terrain tile. Now I'll have to let this dry and then I'm going to do the edges and then I'll come back and I'll show you painting it. I'll see you soon. Okay so now our terrain tile is completely dry. It's all sanded on the four sides and the top. And I leave the bottom just with blank as it is polystyrene. So this is quite, it's a little bit flexible, it's a little bit soft but um, it really does protect it, so it's got a really nice shell on top here. So now we can get on and we can paint this. Now, I've just bought uh, a tin of dark green, so all you've got to remember, um, whatever green you use, make sure you've got enough of it to do your whole table. So if you're doing six tiles, you're going to need enough to do six or eight tiles or some tiles and scenery. So just remember, 
make sure you buy a big enough can of paint. Okay, so let's start painting this. So, as you can see, um, I'm putting quite a lot of this on here. Make sure you get good coverage, make sure you fill all the gaps right up to the edges. Make sure that's really thick on there. Make sure you get good coverage. You don't really want to be watering this down at this stage. Don't worry if it looks like you're covering all the bumps because you won't once it dries you'll get all those bumps back again so just completely now fill in all of your terrain tile so I'm going to finish mine and I'll show you the results okay so I've finished painting mine, I've done the top, I've just got to do the edges. Uh, once I've painted the edges, obviously I won't be able to hold it up and show you guys. So I'm going to do the, the edges in a minute. Now, when you get your paint, don't get uh, a silk, you want, an, you want a matte. Okay, so you want a matte colour, so you want it matte finish, so it dries dull. Okay, you don't want to be doing this on uh, a vinyl silk. So just get yourself uh, a tin of matte paint cheap as you can find but remember you want a quite a dark colour I'm, I'm hoping this is going to darken up a little bit but um, I'm going to put a little technique over the top as well in a minute which I'll show you once this is dry so I'll see you in a bit okay so now um, I've painted the uh, tile green so it is a little bit light and it's also just completely flat green. So what we're going to try and do now is bring this up a little bit. So it's just not one complete shade of colour on here. We want to make this a little bit uh, more realistic, a little bit more texture on here. So let's try that. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take some of the green that we used for the base. Uh, I've put that on a piece of kitchen towel and added a little bit of black to it. So that's darkened it up. And then just like a dry brush effect, I'm now going to just go over, go over the tile with like a dry brush, just where you think you want to change the colour slightly. If you've got lower dimples on your on your surface where you put your sand on, so you might have some flatter areas and some higher areas when you put your sand on and now it's dried. So just go in to some of the darker areas with this darker green. And you'll start seeing that that really does bring the tile up. So it's just not one single flat colour anymore. So I'm just going to do a little bit more on here. Now I've just bought a black emulsion and obviously my green emulsion there as well. It's all matte. Remember, don't go buy in anything else. And just I'm going to put this on just in a few places just to bring out this colour, this deeper colour that I want on the tile. That's a little bit much there, so I'm going to have to highlight that up again in a minute. And just bring a few bits on this tile. Let's see, I think that's enough of the darker colour there. Also, try and don't always go in one direction. Try and go in a couple of different directions. On your tile. Now remember this is just a basic tile we're doing. If we move on up to advanced tiles and advanced terrain we can do a little bit more to it but this is just your basic one for now. I think that's looking okay. I'll see if I can show you that. And there you go, you can see it looks a little bit scruffy at the moment, maybe on the camera, but it's just a different colour, so when we start to highlight that now, we can bring that colour up. So, <clears throat> I'm going to start with um, some highlights now, so I'm going to go back in with just that normal green, with the normal green, and I'm just going to go back over just a little bit, if I've gone over, gone over a little bit too much over here, with the black, with that darker green. So just bring that back up how you want it. You don't want it all too dark, remember. So there we go, just touch that in. So um, for that, I'm just going to get some more paint ready and then we'll do some more highlights. I'll be back in a sec. 
Okay, so now we're just going to take our green, and I've got uh, some white here. So I'm just going to put a little bit of green back on this cloth, just here, a little bit of white in there, and just lighten that up. Not enough there, a little bit more. Perfect. And just when you think you've got a nice shade, you can, if you wanted, you could do two or three different shades of green, go up lighter and lighter. But again, now I'm just going to try and give this a bit of a dry brush. You don't want to go too heavy now on this, but just lighten up some of these areas on this board. There we go, so that's looking good. It's a nice colour. Now if you're doing a little tip for when you're doing more than one, I'm only doing one today, but if you're doing a doing a board of six by four or a four by four, when you've done your tiles, put the tile put the tiles down together, butt them up, and then you can see how far you've gone on one. Uh, how much highlight you've done on one to the next one. So that's what you want to try and do. So you get them uniform to the to your whole table and not just one board. I'm going to have to do a little bit more on there, I think. Now, like I say, just play with your highlight colours. You might think you want it a little bit lighter. So there's nothing wrong with going over lighter again. Once I've normally done the top, how I like it, I then do just a little bit round the side as well. You haven't got to because you won't see it, but I just like to finish the board off just by going round the side as well. Uh, so I'll give you a little bit of a close up on this in a second, and you can see how it's coming along. Okay, so you can see the tile now it's got a few different colours on it. It's not looking so flat, so it looks a lot, lot better. So now, I'm going to take the green again, and I'm just going to put another little green highlight on. So I'm going to go up even lighter this time. We don't want white, but we want a lighter green. And remember with your dry brush, because you're going on light, you need to do it lightly to start with. And as you get a feel for how much paint you've got on your brush, you can go a little bit heavier. And also, I like to go quite light on the edges. You probably shouldn't, but I like to go quite light on the edges. So I can see the edge of the tile that I'm done. But that's your preference as you build your tile up and you put your paint on. Oh, so that's miles too heavy there. We'll have to go back over that in a minute. See where I've gone wrong here. Just go back in with the original colour. Go back in with the original colour. Hide that up. I'm going to put a little bit of black with it. Too much. Just darken that back down again. Go. 
guy. Now the last colour I'm going to try on here, I've got a, like a dark yellowy colour. So I'm going to put a little bit of that on and hopefully that will just make the just a real light brush over the top, dry brush it very lightly over the top just to pick out the, the, the tops of the sand and the gravel that we've put on there. go with this and just see if we can pick up a little bit on here I don't want to go too much again just get it on there and that's coming out you know so it just just puts a little bit of brown you know as much as it's a dark yellowy color it looks like brown as it's going on and I think what I might do I might just go over the top in a minute with a with a white, just dry brush a little bit of white on top of here as well. Yeah, see, too much there. There we go, it's looking not bad at all. Now you can see how easy this is, it is effective, I can show you another quick look at it, I hope that looks uh, as, as good as it does in real life, um, so you can see the colours there, they're starting to come out, it's no longer looking just like a flat tile now, and I'll put a little bit too much on there for the yellow, so again I'm going to go back over with a darker colour just to lose that, I think it's just a little bit wet there. Not quite a dry brush. Yep, and have to leave that bit for a minute. And now, just going to go over. A brush that do. I'm just going to go over with a white now. This one is definitely going to be a very, very light dry brush. You don't want to go too mad with this. And that's definitely given us some highlights some shadow on there as well, really making that board come out now, I just hope that you can see that on the camera in a minute, how this has come out, so I'll show you again, there we go, so it's looking pretty good. It's looking pretty good on there. So that's just a basic tile, and um, you know you can see it doesn't look dead flat anymore. It looks like it's got some heels. It hasn't. It hasn't got nothing on there. We haven't done any work at all on it. So that's just a basic tile. You can see how easy they are to make. Um, just the, the, the only problem is your drying times in between everything. But you know, easy to make. You can make a four by four table, six by four table with these tiles, really easy. Now this is going to be part one of making tiles, so um, keep your eye out for part two. And what we're going to try and do then in part two is do a little bit more advanced, maybe put a road on here um, or a river, something like that. So um, I hope you enjoyed that and um, I'll see you soon.